everyone, I'm Radhika Udas from Express Computer and I'm Gerika Mitra from The Same. Come join us for a quick stroll around the IT space this week. What a week it has been Radhika. It has been very newsy. In fact, the week began with Paytm raising close to $1 billion fresh funds from a group of investors. They're planning on expanding to insurance, investments and lending. Oh, this surely proves the way forward for the data payment space, don't you think? Yes, most definitely does. Moving on, did you hear about the recent chaos at Chayos? I did, the facial recognition controversy. Oh yes, absolutely. In fact, I was reading this morning that people have taken to social media about the same and are expressing their discontent over it. I feel this can be a little disheartening, don't you think so? It definitely is and I think it makes the push towards the data protection bill even better. Uh, in fact, just earlier this morning, I heard that AIMAA has asked for more clarity on the bill, so we can hope to have some good news soon. Oh, we surely can. Uh, moving to our next news, a Belgium-based blockchain company called Settlement is planned to launch its operations in India and they're headquartering in New Delhi. Oh, that, that's a great piece of news because we are going to have an international agency operating out of here and, and this is facilitating the blockchain market even yeah. more further. Well, to second that Radhika, let me give you a great piece of news. The International Data Corporation, the IDC, has declared that the IT market in India is supposed to touch a figure of $14.2 billion by 2020. This is a humongous figure and I'm sure we'll be able to reach it soon. Yeah, I mean it is ambitious but definitely attainable. Oh, it surely is. Uh, coming to our last news, an MOU was signed between NASCOM and VIT, that's Velour Institute of Technology, which will be facilitating training and certification for students. I think that's a great boost for the education sector and we can hope that the collaboration is fruitful. This surely is a great commendable thing that NASCOM has did and this would facilitate growth and development for our country as a whole. That's all for this week. We'll see you next Friday. Before you log off, don't forget to like, comment and share. Bye-bye.